Hi and Sveiki all around the world. Let's see what we have this week on that Latvia. Latvia, the ship without a captain. On the other side of the postcards. Riga, only in one word. Latvia will become a part of Eurozone only in one month. But is it possible without a government? On 27th of November, Prime Minister of Latvia, Valdis Dombrovskis, has announced his resignation. Atvara Zoltau tragedy un visus ar to saistītos apstākļus. Ņemot vērā to, ka pašreiz ir nepieciešama valdība, kas bauda skaidru saimas vairākumu atbalstu, kas spēj risināt to situāciju, kas ir izveidojusies valstī, paziņoja par savu atkāpšanos no ministra prezidenta amatu, uzņemoties politisko atbildību par Zoltūdes traģēdiju. Valdis Dambrovskis resigned, and now all Latvian ministers are unemployed. 13 ex-ministers. Is it a lot for our small country? For example, our north neighbors Estonians have 11 ministries, but southeast Belarusians 25. Only seven ministers work in Switzerland. There are 42 ministries in India, but in the world's most populated country, China, two times less, 20 ministries. The situation with government in Latvia is unstable, but people try not to despair. You can find lots of political jokes on the internet, like Prime Minister public post in the list of job vacancies. Other people consider that some politicians look like cartoon heroes. Ancient Latvian legend has that the moment Riga will be completely built up, devil will flood it, and then it could be rebuilt again and again. That's why Riga is ever developing and growing city. Recently, American media named Riga the most beautiful city in Europe, but only on postcards. According to legend, it's time to worry because free space in Riga is reducing rapidly. The main reason to small capacity of city are multidinous Soviet apartment houses in suburbia, rising modern houses and abandoned houses or slabs. In general, homeless people, junkies and very poor people refuge in those. Buildings in Riga are divided in different hazard levels starting with D, not recommended but possible to live in, ending with A, extremely dangerous to people. Recently online movement Free Riga attempted to clear Riga from slums and ruins. Online application showed which buildings in Riga are fully used, which are not. Slums are not being raised to the ground only because it's official, cultural and historical heritage of Riga. And the second reason, owners of slums don't care about them, as they are trembling down. Let's move deeper into Latvian capital city. Less than one month is left till it will be next European capital of culture. That's why we asked people from all around the world for the words that could honestly describe Riga. In the three words, how can you describe Riga? Peaceful and amazing. Warm, interesting and uh, fun. Uh, it's cozy. Uh, a bit uh, during the week, it's a bit uh, empty. Not much to do, you know. Riga is a very beautiful city. Very cute, 
very pretty and um, friendly, I think. Yes. Old, beautiful, friendly people. Uh, good English and your country must be nice. Mm -hmm. Of course, gold. So that we had like a uh, bad experience, you know, in a bar. Yeah. You know, they, they, they should be more honest with tourists, you know. They, may, they charge us a very weird way, you know, like more, more than normal. Historical, cold, uh, and friendly. Um, unique, beautiful, and a really nice kept secret. Uh, pretty, uh, old European. We are, we are living the same uh, historical period as, as Riga. We try to separate from, from Spain. So for this reason, we decided to spend our holidays uh, in Baltic country. It's very cultured, um, beautiful. A cozy, um, small, and um, a woody. Charming, beautiful, Christmassy. <laughs>